so far we have a more even moon uh, color than uh, than I thought we would get. But uh, yeah, just we'll to show your fancy yeah, degree isn't still worth still anything. A little, if you happen to be of the astrological sign Virgo, don't imagine this has anything to do with you, since the signs astrologically are bullshit. Have nothing. Just thought I'd mention that in case uh, you tie this into the events of your day and say, hey, I'm a Virgo. There's an eclipse in Virgo today. Maybe that's why uh, you know, my boyfriend left me. You know. Forget about it. Well, that. we don't want to hear about your private uh, life, no buddy. And, and here I have it on my screen here. Oh, look at this. Are you going to show me? Beautiful, you beautiful. Fuck, I can't watch it because so of the clouds. Here, without any further ado, oh, you... here is Totality from Griffin. We're really, if we're really in the moment of totality now, and I've not been watching the clock, but you have, Eric, then we can start to comment and say some... Uh... So this is this is so interesting. Like, we, we see that top portion is is it completely umberfied or does that you know yeah yeah, yeah it's umberfied is that a thing is that a real term uh, edge actually you see the little tiny spot in the bottom oh there? god That's another know it all uh, the, the moon is now fully into the umbral shadow and yet the uh, bottom left hand <laughs> side is already preparing itself to leave the umbral shadow <laughs> there we go. so it's going to get that pre-leaving brightness that is and really fascinating we're almost at mid eclipse now we're very close to mid eclipse so this is as dark as the moon is going to get it's as fully into the umbra hmm. as we're going to see and yet look at this you know the folks at griffith they are very I similar see they're trying different exposures because they probably can't believe this themselves they're, I know, they're right? thinking okay what what kind of exposure is going to it's expected a very uneven uh eclipse hmm. and i'd say the oddest strangest most unique uh, totality uh, certainly that I've ever seen at least since the Pinatubo one uh, which is what now at least 30 years away that <laughs> couldn't was, t couldn't that tell, was tell you how long ago that was essentially disappeared usually you still see the moon during totality uh, mm, yeah. but because of the volcanic eruption that was an extremely dark eclipse uh, strangest what am I doing with my life? strangest to it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous like uh, I mean, you, you really uh, put a name to it where you have the red at the bottom, you have the yellow in the middle there, and the top being like it's like the ice caps up there. Yeah, and I, I mean, like, what is this? Is this the rainbow eclipse? I, I, I don't know. I, I From the desert sky above, you know pretty soon the big yellow moon will the way to the one you love Shadows on the trail Moment of the full moon So we're seeing the moon as round as it can possibly be Little cowboy Close your eyes And dream All of the doggies are in the corral. All of your work is done. Just close your eyes and dream. Dream of someone. <laughs> Shadows on the trail. Up to those woods. I, did, I forgot there was another verse. I thought it was just the same thing. Martin Short faked me out. You like to imagine when we have the first live pictures from the surface of the moon during one of these. That's what you like to imagine? Used a lovely phrase That's what you're using your brain power on? Of totality, waiting to when we were wow. to go into totality. A lunar eclipse live from the surface of the moon, I think that would be an absolutely incredible experience yeah. looking back at the Earth. Yep, yeah, if you're into that, guys. And, yeah. uh, I mean, 
Yeah, we don't want a, a sort of schism in the astronomical community, people believing in like five minutes and 12 <laughs> we don't? minutes. I mean, it's, I think we, we've got to be very careful making conclusions. I want to see some nerds mind, arguing. Because as Bob says, I think the what we're seeing here is the, the exposure for totality. So it's going to need a little bit more research to really understand what's going on here. I think you jump in the gun there, you Will. See, you are you playing share, with fire, my five friend. Minutes and this Astronomical phenomena for the year 2015 is very technical. That's 2015, I think you'll find. The corner of the moon. And as it ate away uh, at, at the appearance of the moon from our view, uh, it, it was this subtle growth. <laughs> there it, it is. There's nothing that was ever sharp or defined. We're, always, we're always seeing gradations and uh, nothing that is, is, is just black and white. Shade, shades of just uh, subtlety. Yeah, so well, said, yeah, that's really well said. And yeah, I think so not too. anything that we handle well, especially in Western civilization, we generally like to just put a word on it, blood moon. But you're saying it. It's much more complex and much more interesting, visually sophisticated, uh, than a single word could capture, I think. 